In this video, we're going to cover how to update LaunchPass to the latest version. All right, everybody, LaunchPass has received its first update, and this one comes with a number of improvements that are sure to delight including that you no longer have to set a sort title or platform list to get things to show up within the program itself. Fonts and backgrounds will be recreated automatically if you happen to delete them by accident. And image caching should now work as intended, so that way it doesn't really need to reload them every single time you launch the program. And then for all of you fans of the video background customization, this will feel a lot more stable. And thankfully the updating process isn't that complicated, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as always, before we get started, you are going to need to have a dev mode activated Xbox with everything installed. So I have my RetroArch emulation playlist here to help get you set up in that regard. But if you haven't got dev mode set up, you can follow my RetroArch setup guide for dev mode activation as well as getting RetroArch set up. And along with this, you are going to need a properly formatted USB drive, two videos covering that here. And then of course you need to have LaunchPass set up. So if you haven't set up LaunchPass previously, you could follow my LaunchPass setup guide and uh, just use the latest version instead of needing to update an older version. There we go, yay. <laughs> but our first step in getting LaunchPass downloaded is to download the latest release. So link to this will be in the description below. But as you can see here, we have our release notes for all of the changes for the newest versions. And I just wanna give a quick thank you to Dan Price and Misunderstood Wookie for letting my setup video be their kind of Unofficial official setup guide. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you both. But anyway, once you're on this page, we are going to download the latest version of LaunchPass. So grab the M6 bundle, as well as the dependencies.zip file. And once those are downloaded, go ahead and extract dependencies.zip. Perfect. Now from here, get your Xbox booted up into dev mode and navigate down to your current LaunchPass installation. So LaunchPass right here. Now press the back button, view button, menu button, whatever it's called. Anyway, bring up the menu that gives you the uninstall option here and then press A. There we go. Now make note of your system's remote access IP address and open it up to get to your Xbox device portal. And again, if you get a connection isn't private notice, just click on the advanced button and tell it to continue anyway. And then enter your username and password if you have them set up within your remote access settings. Now on the main screen of the Xbox device portal, under my games and apps, click on the add button, choose your file or drag it in. I'm just gonna use the choose file method. Now navigate to where your launch pass M6 bundle is stored. So mine is right here on my desktop, click next. Now we need to add in the dependencies that we extracted earlier. So click on choose file, navigate into the dependencies folder, and then just select each one to add them in. Now, if you try to select them and they don't get added in, you just need to refresh your web browser. But get all four added in. And once they all appear here, click on start and it will install the latest version of LaunchPass. And when it's finished, just click on done and close out of the web browser on your PC. Now back over on your Xbox, you'll see that LaunchPass has once again repopulated your menu here. And again, you want LaunchPass to be running as an app to run as it is intended. But anyway, with it installed, all you need to do is launch back in, reactivate your USB drive, and all of your games and media will begin to repopulate your menu. You don't have to do anything on the USB side. And as you can see, things are loading up much quicker this time around for included assets. So let me go to my N64 games here because that's the one that has the most on my selection here. But there we go. You can see it just loads up much quicker now. So very cool. And now if we were to close out of the program here, terminate it, launch back in. Go back down to N64 again here. See that it repopulates the cached images much faster than it did before in the previous build. So very cool stuff. But 
After that, you can just resume using LaunchPass as you were previously. Enjoy all the benefits that it provided as a single stop for launching all of your emulated games. But that's going to do it for this one. A very quick and easy way of getting everything up to date to use the latest version of LaunchPass. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope it helps you keep your LaunchPass builds up to date to enjoy. Now here at the end, I do have a couple of favors to ask. Please be sure to hit that like dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are all the truest of champs and just could never do it without your continued support. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.